Yo, what's good? It's your boy, Holius. You already know what it is. And today, we are here to debut Tower of Fantasy and Friends. And today, we welcome a very, very special guest, I'm I, Am I that special? I'll take it. I'm pretty excited. Uh, I know you're like one of the veterans in the community for Tower of Fantasy, and I'm kind of the rookie, but uh, I've been keeping my eye on the game. By the end of this, we're going to have you as a veteran, too. I'm excited for it. So let's jump in. The Tower Fantasy dev team has also provided us with a very sweet and, and special letter, thanking all of you guys for being here watching our first first ever episode of the Tower Fantasy and Friends talk show. They say, Hi Holius and Imtashed. Thank you for accepting our invitation and joining us here at the first episode of Tower Fantasy and Friends talk show. We sincerely hope that this talk show would become a special channel to share our latest updates, communicate with our players, and present Tower Fantasy to more people in a relaxed and humorous way. We have watched your videos about Tower Fantasy and they are brilliant. I know. <laughs> we can see your interest, love, and support to the game, and we appreciate it. You are welcome to share your thoughts, experiences, suggestions, reactions here for the audience and us. Thanks again, and enjoy the show. Best. TOF team. I think that was a lovely letter written uh, written to us by the Tower Fantasy team. Imtash, what do you think? I appreciate that because when devs are are kind of with the community, it's usually a good sign. So we have a lot for you guys to digest today. First off, we're going to be going over the combat and the world exploration of Planet Ida. We have a quick trailer for you guys to check out. It has to do with the pre-registration. So pre-registration is open now. We need you guys to hit that, that 2.5 million mark so everybody can get the rewards. If you guys don't get us the rewards, there, there's going to be a problem. All right. I'm not I'm not not getting them. So <laughs> let's go. The links for the pre-registration will be in the description. I need y'all on that right now. Go down there and click it. We got a trailer that, that we're going to watch for your guys' viewing entertainment. The world of Ida. This is you climbing the mountain to the pre-registration so I can get all my rewards because <laughs> I desperately need them. And you better get him to his rewards, otherwise you got to deal with me. Yeah. I mean, and I'm a, I'm a, a rookie, but I'm also, I've done both of the, the closed betas, so I am invested. And if you're wondering if you can use the jet bike and if you can use the jet pack, you can, which is actually cool to me. I like all the little gadgets, but anyway, I'll save that for later when we're starting to explore. Right, and the mounts in this game, there's such a variety of them. Um, I really feel like the the motorcycle they're showing here really doesn't sell how cool the mounts actually are. Right, yeah. Because I think that's the only one that I got when I was doing the beta. But uh, yeah, apparently there's like a bunch of other stuff you can do. There's a lot of them. And the, look how open the world is and, and, and vast. How many uh, creatures and enemies there are. And we got the big baddie. Or, or, I, you know, we're not far enough in the story. Maybe there's a twist, so I don't, I, I can't say. There could, there could be a twist in there. Yeah. You would never know. Tower of Fantasy. Pre-registration is now live. Pre-registration is live right now, guys. Again, reminder, click the pre-registration. Or else. <laughs> <laughs> or else. But yeah, just after taking a look at that, uh, at that trailer, I am really excited for them to finally release the game globally. I've been waiting on this for a while. And I can't wait to play with, you know, all of the members of my community. And we're getting close because, right, Q3 2022, we're in Q3. So uh, just kind of fingers crossed for when we're going to find out the official date. But, uh, hey, if we're doing a talk show, maybe they'll leak it to us, right? What's that? They're, they're not going to leak it to us? Oh, oh, OK. Uh, never, never mind. I guess we're waiting, too. So like you said, you have played the game before in the beta test. Was there anything that you saw that you that you just really can't wait to touch when you when you get the full version of the game you know i'm really into gear and passives and abilities and seeing that some of the different characters had um had some passives that you could unlock and then you look at the weapons and then synergies between the weapons i i think i'm honestly just most excited to dive into those systems and and finding out which weapon combos work for me because i did get a few of the ssr weapons and so i got a taste but you know i i think i got four of them out of out of you know the plethora that are available <laughs> so i think it's just going to be finding out what works best for me and uh and testing out all that especially when i get into the bosses and when i get into um kind of the the more end game stuff that's where i really like to uh grind games i think for me like like you said bouncing off of off of your topic on the gear and bossing and, and everything i feel like 
the fact that they have different weapon classes, attack, tank, and, and healing, that really sets up a lot of variety as far as gameplay goes. You know, if you want to play as a healer, you can switch to healing weapons. If you want to be an attacker, you can use attacking weapons. And then when it comes to the raids and bosses and, and everything that the developers are working on, it leaves a lot of openness for them to set up different mechanics or these raid bosses or world bosses that we could potentially see. And, and I like that it's just, you swap your weapons, right? If I wanna be a DPS, I can. If I wanna be the healer, I can. I had two healing staffs and I was running around just doing area of effect heals uh, during a, a world boss. I didn't even really do a lot of damage, but I knew that I was hopefully keeping a few people alive. So I feel like I've scratched the, surf, the surface and I'm already pretty intrigued. So I just wanna, you know, dabble more. Jumping into the planet Ida. There's so many things to do. They have a plethora of mini games, so many different enemies and NPCs that are also just as stylish as the main characters. You don't see that a lot in games. A lot of times just copy, paste, copy, paste. But in this game, I feel like it's very rare that I see the same NPC twice, unless I'm going to Walmart or, um, <laughs> or Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut is my favorite place to be. I always get the thick crust. You know what I'm saying? What have you seen in the open world that, that you really just, can't get enough of. You know, one of the things that I did enjoy is running into people. I didn't realize how much I would enjoy that. I got a group of people when I was streaming to meet at a world boss. And, you know, I did like a war speech, <laughs> like this is our moment, right? And you don't get that without some of those multiplayer aspects. And so mm -hmm. I thought that that was really cool. There's a couple puzzles where uh, you know, I was standing there and I needed another player to help me complete it. And it just adds a little bit of a community feel. And I don't know, I, I really liked that side of it because it was unique to me. I agree with you completely. Running through with the community has to be one of the, like, one of like the best things in the game. Honestly, I don't know if you if you noticed or not, but when you were running through the beta, you may have seen a lot of people with the with the word thick over their heads. I'm gonna tell you that was straight from my community. We had, really? we, had the, we had the thick squad running around. We were the number one guild. We do. There are guilds and crews in the game that you, you're able to team up with uh, 150 or more. As you level the guild up, you can you can get more people of of your friends, you know, crewmates, whatever you want to call them. You can have a whole bunch of people together in the open world, taking out world bosses and stuff. So and and you can have that feel as we run the world, you know, because they do have the ranking system in there for the crews. So. Can I join? Because <laughs> I, I need a good a, a good group to run with because I, I'm too lazy to get my own going. But I'll be like a, a dedicated member if you don't mind. You guys heard it here first, folks. Big Squad is the place to be. M Tash will be, <laughs> will be one of our legendary members. So... <laughs> Yeah, no one we'll, joins. They find that out. And they're like, all right, I'm out. No more thick for me. Me and the pizza hot guy go way back. So we'll just tell him not to get you guys any more pizza. So good luck playing the game okay. without that. So there are a lot of areas in the open world that I like to go to, to hang out as like a hub spot. You know, if you're there for the more social aspect, as opposed to the combat aspect, you can just go hang out with friends and talk. You know, my spot is the carnival. You can ride the roller coasters. They got a Ferris wheel out there. There's, they got fireworks you can set off. It, it's just a, such a nice spot to be, um, just to hang out and and kind of chill with people. I was really focusing on just like doing s story quests and, and running around and like really exploring. I wasn't in any one place too much. But one of the nice things I, I did enjoy is I did like a, a little story quest with Meryl and it, it teleported me to uh, like an ice region. I saw some variety, but I feel like I'm just scratching the surface because I've only played the the, the closed betas, but uh, you know I'm excited to see more. I can't say too much, but the map will keep expanding and expanding uh, as we go forward. One of the things I like doing was there was like the little dungeons. You can unlock parts for your uh, your different relics. I, I didn't realize that that was a thing like upgrading your relics and making your jetpack better. Now that I know that, I'm gonna be living in the dungeons and just like progression because that is, i think that's what drives me as a player is progression and so if i can complete it i will be doing it you know what i'm saying so i'm not going to be in a hub spot like you like you're <laughs> chit chatting with your buddies no, 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 no. i'm grinding the reason i will be chit chatting is because i'd already know that i'm the best oh, okay <laughs> listen to this guy no I way be, I, i'm gonna be playing so efficiently that i'll have the time to go hang out with my homies, you know what I mean? Listen to this guy, <laughs> listen to him. And as far as the, the mini games go, the way that they're set up right now, 
a lot of the ones that are just out in the open world are um, single player mini games. They are marked on the map so to make it easy to find, but you can also like as you're exploring, you just, oh, what's this? And you can just kind of hop into it. You know, in the future, maybe the soccer mini game, for example, I, I think it would be really exciting to see that implemented in, you know, a multiplayer way, right? Where maybe you have 2v2 soccer matches. The fields aren't that big to have the, the normal amount of people on the field, obviously, but you know, maybe that's something that they can implement it one day. I'm always down with like distractions and, and things to troll around with. Like even like I didn't realize this when I started playing, but someone flagged me for PVP and they're like, you want to go? Just little moments like that to take you out of the out of the story and out of the exploration a bit and just kind of have some fun. I like that. Yeah, I'll pull up on you right now. <laughs> Please don't. You'll stomp me. Send your location. Send your location. That guy knew I was bad. <laughs> he flagged me. I started fighting and I got crushed. So, you know, I got to get make sure I get my skills up to par. I'm at the carnival, man. Pull up. Come to the carnival real quick. I'm, I'm too scared. <laughs> One of the things that I think is probably the biggest thing that that has to do with the world exploration is that you can find summons out in the open world. Yeah, well, um, when I f discovered that, because you can get the black and the gold nucleus or nuclei or whatever, mm. I got my first SSR like in the first day. I got lucky. I did it before pity it is what it is. But um, once I found that out, I just went on a rampage searching around and exploring. It was nice to be rewarded for that. And, uh, you know, because of honestly how rapidly you get them, it felt like I was able to summon often. It was exciting because even just the, you know, like the SR weapons, they're not the SSR, the rarest ones, but the ice hammer that I got, insane. I got a healing mm -hmm. staff, insane. And so mm -hmm. my gameplay changed very rapidly as I was exploring and found some of these weapons. And I, I thought that was really cool. And then on top of that, you know, you can find, you can find the resources to upgrade these weapons that you get from exploring while you're while you're looking for those summons and everything. So they, they really have everything just out there. When I was playing, one of my friends did get the weapon and we were shocked because like, you know, I'm a rookie. I didn't look at the rewards or anything like that. And he said, oh, I got a new weapon. And I was like, oh, nice. And he's like, from the boss. And I, I kind of freaked out. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, wait, what? Uh, so that's pretty unique. If you're playing the game, you're grinding the game, you have opportunities to get the gear for free. Yeah, like you said, uh, one, of your, one of your friends got an SSR and you were happy for them. I'm the opposite. If, if I invite my community to come do a world boss with me, and one of them gets an SSR, they got to be banned, bro. Just as simple as that, because that was supposed to be my SSR. No, no, no. Then, because then they could carry you, <laughs> right? Then they could carry you. You can get one down the road. And I'm, I'm supposed to be the carry, though. <laughs> well, well, you put yourself in a tough situation because I've seen your skill. So it's like, what, that's tough. What, is, what does that mean? What do you mean nope. by that? No comment. Let's move on. Let's move on to the next section. <laughs> I think that gives a pretty good wrap up of the, the way that the open world will be working, all the different kind of things that you can do in it. The next piece that we have is brought to you by our TOF dev team. Um, they have a few pieces of information they'd like us to share with you guys. Okay, so for the first one, Tower of Fantasy is going to be adding more multiplayer modes and elements to improve the multiplayer experience. But they also made a note that they really do want to, uh, you know, make the experience good for solo players as well, and then expand into these other multiplayer areas, which I think is really good because I don't have any friends, right? <laughs> well, I guess now I do with you guys and the, and the Thick Clan, but I think it's really important to have that solo experience be strong as well. So the fact that they're working on the multiplayer and the solo and, and, and really building on both of them, I think is a key if this game is going to be, you know, catching people's attention long term, right? Another point that they have here is, uh, again, adding on to that multiplayer aspect, it will be adding mini game modes, including racing, surfing, parkour, and others. The producer said they are dedicated to building a world full of details with love and surprise. Which is perfect because I don't know how confident I am in my combat skills. So if I can do some surfing, right? I, I think then I can, you know, claim to be the best surfer in Ida, I guess. I don't you know. You haven't been too confident because you've been ducking me the entire time you've been on this on this uh, broadcast. And I'll continue to. <laughs> so another thing they wanted to make note of is they have a balanced system for collecting resources in the game where you can level multiple weapons, which is very exciting. Hearing that is like music to my ears because 
I am very indecisive with my weapons and <laughs> I, I want to make sure that I've got different tools and like depending on the enemies I run into, if I need a fire weapon, I want to have access to it. So uh, I did notice that while playing and, you know, I only got to play the betas. I'm sure I haven't got into the end game stuff, but um, whenever I had my new weapon, I was able to level it up. I ran around the map, collected some, you know, ore and I was good to go. So. I was a big fan of that. The last point that I have is Tower Fantasy is continuing to improve the game with a focus on the sci-fi background and the stories based off of the sci-fi. The team is dedicated to working on the worldview and stories and basing them off of the, the, the sci-fi futuristic genre, which I think they've done a, a fantastic job on. I think it's it's good that they're focusing on on really diving into it and, and making it relatable and, and uh, making everything fit in the world, you know what I mean? And honestly, to me, I'm I'm kind of scared of a robot takeover. So, you know, this <laughs> this could be our future. You never know. OK, we've got some news, right? That's exciting. Now we've got the combat trailer. That's what I'm most excited about. So let's jump into it. There's your carnival. Yes, sir. That's, the <laughs> that's your hangout. <laughs> there's the there's queen, your Meryl. Yep, there's your girl. And there's my my second wife, Samir. Okay, look at Frey. See, I didn't actually, I didn't use this weapon yet. Yeah, the, the Chakram has to be probably one of the, the best physical weapons that's gonna be available at, at the start. Yeah, but look at the ice slam and jam. I, I don't know. Actually, I want this guy, because his passive is nuts. Yeah, Crow, for sure. And Samir has such a wide range of AOE damage. Bro. Samir's actually my favorite I, weapon. I didn't have King either. That guy, that's King. I didn't have yeah, him. Yeah, King. Yeah, the scythe, bro, especially when you get it to the three-star skin. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh, new boss? Didn't fight that guy? Didn't fight that one either? What? Yeah, bro, the, the dragon is, is one of the it's hardest world bosses, in my opinion. Bad. Oh, snap. Next up on our, on our list, we are running a speed run challenge. We're going to compete to see who can finish Dungeon CO1 the fastest. You know, Mtash, I would, I would hate to make you cry on camera again, so I'll take it a little easy on you. Honestly, I want to know what I'm up against. Go full throttle and try your best, and I, I'm going to see what I can do. I'm using new weapons, so you can't really judge me. Are you ready to click enter? I'm ready to click enter. All right, let's get in there. Oh, God. It's it so already hard. says it's too hard for you. You don't know what you're doing. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. I hope this weapon's good. To make it feel uh, a little bit more fair, maybe I will find the chest and you don't have to. Okay, that that honestly sounds fair to me. Because I don't completely remember where they're at. Okay, and I just got a, Fanta a Fantasia. Fantasia. Well, how do you pronounce that? <laughs> Fantasia? Oh, I missed oh, no. mine. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually almost dying. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Uh, are you still in the first room fighting those initial enemies? Yes, are you? They're kind of tough. Yeah, I'm still in here with them too. Let me, let me use my girl Samir real quick. Ah! Yes, sir. Yeah, I gotta remember, I think there was a chest in this room somewhere. Oh no, oh no, I can't, I can't remember. I think I'm not switching my abilities fast enough. Like, I think I need to make sure I'm switching these. Wait a second, I might have an idea here. You better you better start putting those ideas into practice quick. Otherwise, uh, this isn't gonna be too good for you. I don't care, I think I actually am big brain. Hold on here. Big brain? <laughs> I don't know how to do this puzzle. They could. I died! <laughs> Ooh, bro, I already found one of the chests. You better keep up. Okay, okay, <laughs> I opened it. I opened it. Wait, are you not killing all the enemies? I am. I got another fan Fantasia. Fantasia. One yeah, I I'm killing them all too. <laughs> <laughs> Are you are you skipping the enemies? No, I'm doing them. I, I'm definitely doing them. No way, you're cheating. You're a cheater. No 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 no. Is this a speed run or not? You you know you gave away your strategy. You know. If, if that's if that's what we're doing here. <laughs> I gotta get my heels going. I'm actually uh, kind of getting crushed though. 
So right, at yeah. least help me out. So are you typically just doing your basic attacks, rotating through your combos, and then uh, and then doing like the quick time kind of event things? Yeah. So uh, you know you you run through. Honestly, I've been using uh, Hane, the bow, the ice bow, because she actually has one of the lowest cooldowns uh, for her her one or for her E, and uh, so I'm able to use her her ability over and over again um so but then yeah after that i do switch between the weapons so I, that i died again uh, <laughs> and you call yourself a gamer they're just they're crushing me i guess it would help if i was actually dodging their attacks and doing the fantasia there it is there it is okay we got the fantasia we're ready to rip out yeah this this game definitely rewards uh rewards a little bit of skill i just did the biggest brain skip that you you will never think of bro i may or may not already be at the final boss what okay okay then i'm same i'm at the final boss now too <gasps> i died oh this boss is gonna be hard yeah i feel like i've been cheated because i don't know this puzzle Bro, this boss is messing me up. Okay, actually, I'm a, I'm a little scared. It's okay. so hard. I got it. Okay, I'm dodge king. I know what I need to do. I know I, I know what I need to do. I have, I have to. Uh... He, 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 he almost one banged me. <laughs> Bro. What? That's what I was trying to tell you. I think that I need to upgrade my weapons. Maybe I should leave the dungeon and come back, and then I'll have the advantage. I wouldn't say it's cheating. <laughs> okay, now I'm right. geared up. I'm ready to go. Let's try this again. All right, let's get back okay, in there. Three, two, you, one, go. All right. Okay, now I'm going to do some damage. I'm actually going to be able to slay these things. I'm ready to rip. This is still slightly above our, our gear score level. Just want to let you know. I don't want to hear no excuses. So this is this is a speed run again, right? It's a speed run, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a speed run, all right. I'm almost at the final boss, baby. <laughs> there's, there's no way. <laughs> I can see him. I'm going in and I'm going to kill him right now. Seraph, it's time to die. I am now stepping into the boss room. You have a slight advantage here. Yeah, the, the boss is dead. I won. You're lying. Uh, no comment. Oh, this is this is much better as far as damage goes. Since we, since we upgraded uh, our weapons and everything. I'm actually uh, going to get crushed. I'm getting crushed right now. Help, really help, help, here. help, um, help. I personally had no issue demolishing this guy's shield. Oh no! I died! Oh, <laughs> you <laughs> suck! What? Dead. What? He was almost dead! I used one of my relics and uh, I don't think it was the right choice. <laughs> Which relic did you use? It's like the gauntlets thingies. The gauntlets are uh, more for exploration than combat. You can use them in combat, but that's not what they're made for. Please can help. We, can, can we end this out? Ah! Dude, what is this, bro? I just died. No. Oh, okay. okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you take the win. Honestly, I think I think my skills are are lacking. Yeah, I'm not gonna take the win until I win. I got to I got to kill this thing. It's it's the lasers, man. They they Yeah, can dodge. I know. I'm struggling to dodge them. Oh, you're cheating. You have all the upgraded chips and everything. I My chips aren't upgraded. Yeah, they're, they're, at least you equip good ones. I don't even know what I'm doing. I won. Well, I he has full HP. I'm going to alt F4 and get the hell out of here because I need to learn from you. Oh, man. This is what happens when you put up put up a veteran of thick squad against a, a rookie. All right, I lost, but also it, it, it's very evident how much you need to upgrade your gear and also even just weapon choices. Like when he threw up that shield, I didn't have a good option for it. And you said you instantly bursted it down. That's something to consider. And that's one of the reasons why I enjoy the combat is it's almost like that puzzle aspect of, of how you're going to take out the enemies. So I lost, but I can learn. And the next time I think it'll be closer. And now that I got you here in my sights, bro, I want to, I want to fight. <laughs> oh no. Oh run. no. Come on over here. Come on over here. Okay. Uh, all right. Yep. 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 The combo. Uh -huh, Wait, uh -huh. he didn't see this one coming. You're kind of doing some damage there, buddy. Ooh. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> I think we, we both have one out. We both have one out. Oh wait. Yeah, you're right. Oh no. All right. You can't beat me if I run. <laughs> No way, you scaredy cat. What? Yep, there's a ring. <laughs>
but you didn't kill me, so I mean, that's a success for me. That's crazy that you would even that you would even count being a coward as success. Honestly, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for kind of taking me through. I'm excited for the launch. When is that again? When is the launch? I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but what I do know is that it's in quarter three of 2022. So we're there. We're close. We appreciate you guys for watching uh, this first episode, the debut with the, the two greatest content creators on the platform. You, you better not be talking about me. Well, you, you are, you're, you're number two. Oh, okay, fair. We'll take that. Do not forget to pre-register, man. The link will be in the description. We will get rewards when we hit the 2.5 million mark. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your uncles and aunts and all of them. Everybody needs to know that Tower of Fantasy is coming out. Spread the word. Any final sign-offs? Thanks for having me. I had fun. And that's pretty much it. I also had a really great time. It was really nice to meet you uh, for the first time. And, uh, you know, maybe we can link up for some more Tower Fantasy when the game drops globally. We better or else. Make sure you guys follow all, all of the Tower Fantasy socials on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram to get all of the latest updates and to, to make sure that you have the, the latest and the best news about Tower Fantasy. It's been your boy Holius and... M-Tashed. And we'll catch you on the next one.